In this video, I'll teach you how to set up a Gmail on your Samsung Mail app without linking your Gmail account to your cell phone. This is useful if you are trying to add a brand new Gmail account to your Samsung app or if you are transferring your cell phone and now it's asking you for a password like here. In this case, you have to delete the account and follow the steps I'm going to show you in a second. But before we jump into it, please make sure you click those like and subscribe buttons to make sure that others can also find this tutorial video because sharing is caring, isn't it? And if you feel super generous, please do feel free to buy me a coffee by clicking that super thanks button right Thank under you. this video. Now let's roll. Roman does consumer tips. And process goes like this. You go into Samsung Mail app, Earlier, you would be able to set up any email account by simply going into other and choosing manual option down here. Unfortunately, Gmail was disabled for whatever reason, and now you have to follow this process I'm about to show you. So first, as usual, let's put in your email address. As you can see, manual setting showed up. If I click on that, it would give me the options. And normally, Gmail would use IMAP, but from here on, it will take me to list of accounts that are logged in on this device. And since this is our only option, we're gonna follow it. Add another account. You will input your email account again. That's the one we're trying to add. In here, Google basically tells you that it's gonna track the hell out of you. And now it's doing all the possible checkups. And right here, it's telling you that Samsung Mail wants to get access to your account. And you click continue. You agree to this, continue. Now it's going to do all the checks. And your account is set up. As mentioned earlier, main downside, it's now also sharing your data with Google Gmail account. Easy way to check it is to see how many accounts are signed in on this device. Go add account. Let's use my spare account. Now if I go with manual, I'm up. Right here, you see that not only an account on this email app, but it's now also an account signed in on this phone. So let's fix that. Go into your settings. Now search for account or ACC search. And you're looking for Google account security right here. Now you click on Google account security again, and you'll see a list of your accounts. Ignore that. You want to click on manage accounts on this device. What you also see, this account you're trying to add to your mail app now shows up twice. It shows up at the top with a red icon and it shows up down here. The difference between two, one says email Android and another one says Google. So you want to pick the one that says Google and has a Google logo on it and you want to remove it. Remove. Now top one stays. You go back to your app. Now we're going to go back from here and we'll try to set it up again. As you can see, my primary account has disappeared from the list. Now this tells me setup is complete. And if I go all the way out to my mail accounts, as you can see, account is synced without my phone being tracked and scanned by Google. Now, this was easy, isn't it? But let me address something else. Most likely you are used to using or been using Samsung Mail app because you didn't want to link your Gmail to your Android account, right? Well, if that's the case, there's actually a way or workaround to use your Gmail with Gmail app on your cell phone without linking it to your cell phone. It involves some manual settings, but it's pretty easy and straightforward. So if you're curious, please feel free to check out this video up here. And as said before, please do like and share and subscribe to this video so that others can find it. And also, if you feel generous and want to buy me a coffee, you can do so by clicking this super thanks button right under this video right here. And on this note, I'll see you in my next video. Godspeed.